a bigger magnitude for the 49ers? The Rams win or the Cardinals loss? Meaning, was the was the Rams win bigger than the Cardinals loss was a downer for the 49ers? Oh man, that's, a, that's good. Uh, okay, so I have to go. I think the Cardinals loss was bigger because I have to be negative. Just I yeah, I do. I know. Okay, first of all, I'm on record for saying that that Rams win felt like two huge. Wins. It was huge. It was, it was super important because what? ultimately that was it. Like that was it for you. If you lost that game, it's it's over for you. It's a wrap, right? right? But at the same time, that Cardinals win was a must win. It's a game you should have won. You didn't win. Not only did you not win, but you looked terrible. That win or that loss, in my opinion, was the worst loss in the Shanahan Lynch regime. That win was a very good win, but I cannot say it was the biggest or best win that they've had with this regime. So just for that reason alone, I have to go with that Cardinals loss being bigger uh, in a bad way than that Rams win was bigger in a good way. Yeah, I agree. I mean, again, I think the Rams win was predictable when you really examined it. Not Sorry. I mean, I know you didn't get there, but um, no, no, a lot, didn't most people didn't. <laughs> most people didn't. But when you look again, when you in hindsight, it was somewhat predictable. The Niners had the emotional advantage. The Rams lost Robert Woods. The Niners kind of have the, the Rams number, they beat them five times in a row. They just match up really well with the Rams, who apparently can't stop the Niners' run game, apparently. Mm-hmm. So you could see it. But the card, so essentially the Niners, we should almost expect the Niners to beat the Rams and maybe to beat them again next uh, the next time they, they match up. I mean, five in a row is five. That's ownage. That's what you call ownage. But losing to Colt McCoy, that hurts. Because let's say the 49ers are – come up one game short of missing the playoffs. You just go back to that game and be like, well, that was it. That was that was the season. You lost to Colt McCoy. Or if they do make the playoffs and you know they get a, a seventh seed as opposed to a fourth seed, well, it's that game. That was yep. a freaking layup. It's like in basketball where you get to steal and you're jogging down and no one's following you and you go for the windmill dunk and you and you break it off the back iron. Like that's what that's what that game was. It was just a no contest and they smoked it. So I, I have to say the Cardinals lost. They're, they're really going to re- regret that the rest of the season unless they make it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, you know, one thing uh, you talked about the emotional side of things, and I, I did. I looked at that pretty heavily, and that was actually one of the reasons why I went with the Rams because I, I looked at it and said, okay, the Rams just lost a game. They're True. pissed off. True. They're adding two new players. They're also very, you know, McVay is tired of hearing that Shana hands his daddy and all that. So he's got an ax to grind. You've got the the Donald and Debo situation from last year. Donald's got an ax to grind. So I really actually thought that the emotional side of things was going to favor the Rams. Boy, was I wrong. Well, the reason I I mean, I I just felt like the emotional side, like the Niners had sleepwalked through half a season. What they did was week one, they came out hot, but from week two to week 10, they did nothing in the first half of games. So I figured that was going to end. I mean, you just got humiliated. It's Monday night football. Steve Young said, there's no dogs in the team. Jerry Rice said, there's no dogs in the team. Joe Staley said, you got manhandled. Steve Young's going to be front and center watching. Like they're going to show up. I knew I had a feeling they were going to show up. Uh, I didn't realize that the Rams were going to totally not show up, but when they lost Robert Woods thinking about it for a few days, that's huge. Because now, all, really, all you got to do is shut down Cooper Cup. All you got to do is shut down Cooper Cup. If there's two of them, it's a lot hard. Anyway, that was a really, really big loss. I think, I think we made our point. 